I gotta call this motherfucker. Yep, 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 as you see right there. Hey, what's going oh, on, yeah. man? Fuck you, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm on a yacht going to Vespucci, uh, Vice City, bro. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Where are you at? Let's talk, dude. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. You just want to take me and Dickie to jail. No, but yeah. I'll tell you right now, now that I know you're in the city. I'm not in the city. I'm, I'm in Vice City, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah? Yeah, I took a boat to why Vice City. Come, why don't you come back into the city, man? Yeah, I'll be I'll be back soon with Dickie and we got something for you. Hey, you got something for me? Yeah, we got something for you. We got a present. Okay. To make up for me paying uh, all of Dickie's money that he stole last time, and then not gonna charge him with anything, and then you guys took off from me. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, you dumbass. I didn't go into jail, and neither were you. I talked to the owner of the weed shop, got all the charges dropped, not even a single thing such as a trespassing, and I paid for all the weed that he stole. I mean, I didn't steal any weed. That was all Dickie. Uh -huh. Yeah, so why did Dickie screw me like that? I don't know. Like, like, I went to the weed shop with him, and then he was buying some weed. I was going to get something, but then I remembered your face, and you always showing up saying, Mickey, 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 where's the joint? Where's the joint? So I didn't get anything, and then he got anything. Then cops started jumping up with, like, him up with charges because of that, but, I mean, he stole it, so that was on him. But then they tried getting me because I went inside his house, well, his buddy's house, and then they tried to jump me up with charges, so... Uh, basically, Dickie called me. He said he needed to get away, and I knew how to fly a helicopter from back in the day when I was in the army. And I found a helicopter. A friend let me borrow it. I picked up Dickie, and you guys were there. We took off, and and now I don't know if I ever want to come back. I'm afraid. Well, listen. Uh huh. I I have we we have judges now. Okay, so. What I can do is I can bring you in front of a judge, and you can take care of all of this, you and Dickie both, and, and you can start fresh and clean, dude. But here's the thing, until that day happens, you guys have multiple, multiple warrants out for your arrest and felony charges because of all of the stunts you just pulled that day. I mean, you so much as even show your face in this, in this city again, and you're going to have every PD, sheriff, and trooper looking for you. So well, of you course, want that or well, of course I don't want that. Why do you think I got our drug dealer Marcus to get us this boat to go to Vice City and get away because you guys are trying to arrest us, trump us up with charges? Well, here's the thing, man. If you're in Vice City, I'm the chief of police. It takes one phone call over there to get them to expedite you back to California. And they'll do that. Well, well, when that day happens, then you'll get a call from me and I'll tell you to come find me. So... Let, let's just make this simple and easy for all of us. Let's just come down. Let's meet. Let's meet up, like we normally do, and let's just get this taken care of. All right. Well, I got. Well, Dickie's downstairs. He's getting a little action going on. If you know what I mean. When he's done, I'll talk to him about it and see if he wants to come back. And we'll see what happens. We'll, I'll give you a call back and let you know. Okay. I just don't want to go to all jail, right. man. I'm tired of it. You took my clothes, and then he, all these other cops drummed me up with charges, taking my house, my van, where I slept and sleep. Yeah, I can understand how that's frustrating for you. Yeah, I just, I'm just getting tired of it. And then when you took my clothes, you almost made me want to jump off that bridge and kill myself, man. That wasn't the goal of it, man. It was to try to embarrass you enough to keep you from doing something stupid again. Well, yeah, you embarrassed me. It embarrassed me where I want to just end it because, like, so many... Like, did you see Iktok and Twatter? Like, it was everywhere, man. Like, people were laughing at me. It was. Yeah, it blew up. It blew up. It's all because of you, man. That never would have happened if you didn't abuse your powers. Well, you know, I wouldn't say that I, I did it or I didn't do it. That's not what I'm saying. Um... What I'm saying is, you know, if it did happen, it sounds a lot like hearsay, but for a reason, if I did do it, you know. Yeah, well, you know you did it. It is what it is, but I'm going to talk to Dickie, and I'll call you back and let you know if we're coming. Great. All right. Thanks, la man. Later, bites. Later.
Hey, bites. What's going on, man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's glad to hear from you, too. I hear you're doing all right. Hey, I heard you talk to Mickey. Yeah, what? how'd that go? I know, man. I'm sorry. I, I know you don't understand my apology, but that's that's probably done and over with, bud. I'm sorry. I really am. I know it don't mean much. Yeah, I did. No way. No, no, no way. You weren't gonna let me keep the weed. Ain't no way, Bites. You've, You've always, always taken, taken it, it from me. me. Yeah, he takes it from me all the time, man. Hey. I mean, I I, I I checked the I, I'm on the computer. I didn't I didn't see no warrant, so I, I think I'm in the clear. Yeah, Marcus checked. We're clear. Yeah, our buddy Marcus checked. He said we're clear, man. And the captain said we're clear too. Yep. Uh, maybe I don't know. I I don't think I have anything. But yeah, I mean, I'll admit we did take the helicopter. I did steal the weed. But you know what? The the thing was happened is he ran back in the house and the officers just ran away and like started chasing him or whatever. You were gone. And I'm like, well, fuck it. I guess I'm going to just walk away. And then that's what happened, man. I, so I just left. <laughs> we're still on the boat, but I think we're I think we're getting close to the city. I don't know. I'd have to ask the captain, but... Yeah, we're getting close to know, my city. I, I mean... <laughs> shit, you know, I don't I don't, I don't, don't know if that's a good thing, Bites, because, I mean, last time we tried to meet up, man, you, you kind of fucked me, because you said it was going to be me and you, and next thing you know, you got seven other officers hanging up. But but then again but then again you but then again you didn't charge me with anything and you let me walk scot free and you didn't I didn't have to go in cuffs so but he's still I still lied give you, though but yeah yeah you're right Mickey he did lie he took my clothes too and lies about that too I could have. I could have, but I, I'm 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 not that dumb. <laughs> uh, did Did you guys end up retrieving the helicopter? I think so. Did you get my picture though? That was that was that was an awesome picture. We were we were we were smoking. Yeah, we we were smoking right at the helicopter. That shit was yep. awesome, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Until until your I don't even know how your guys even found out though. I mean, obviously they found out. Judge. He's lying. There's no judges. Are you serious? What does this lady want, man? What do you want? Amigos? See or no?
No. No, man, we're not looking to go to jail no? at all. Who is this? You know, amigo, see or no? Uh, quit, quit calling my phone, lady. I'm hanging why, up. Why would they throw a book at me, man? That's oh, kind of hostile, no. man. My face would hurt. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think I know what you're saying. But, I mean, I don't know, man. Living out on here on the dock and in the woods, being gone for a couple months now, man, it, it's 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 changed me. Like, I, I've i been clean, dude. Like, there's no drugs on out here. I haven't hit anybody up. I mean, granted, it all sounds nice that I've started over a clean slate, but, you know, once I get my hands back on in the city... In Los Santos, man, or you know, in Los Angeles, it's it's not gonna be good. <clears throat> no, but I know too many people, and then the wrong person's gonna come across me or something, or Mickey's gonna get in something, and you know, I you know, if whether it's me and Mickey, we're not gonna go down single handedly. It's gonna be both of us, and we're never gonna snitch on each other or nope. give each other up and shit. You know that. <laughs> Yo, wait, is that Siren? Mickey, is that Sirens? I don't hear none. Do oh, oh, shit. Yo, is that a cop over there, up there? Is that a cop on a jet, a boat? I mean, they could be... Oh, oh, boat. shit, we, we... Yo, we gotta go. We... Sorry. No, no, you, you, you're spying on us, man. Well, he ain't just, spying on. Who's he spying on? I, 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 I just hung up on him. <laughs> uh, whoever you're talking to, I mean, they ain't looking for us. I'm Jimmy Steves. I, 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 I was, I was talking to Bites, man. Yeah, well, I'm Jimmy Steves, so I mean, he, he's not looking he for me. No, he don't know that, though. He doesn't know we're out here. He doesn't like if he was to look at you right now, buddy. He would not know at all. Yeah, he, he couldn't tell that it was you either. You look like a no. Like, you look like a, that guy I met a few weeks ago. His name was Rooster. But I I heard you know I heard sirens. I don't know if it was over there or yeah. I kind of heard him in the distance too, but I was like far away. So yeah, I don't know if it was over there. Tracks phone call from Dickley. You bastard! How how can you put Dickley? You should uh, type in like OC, like uh, broken through phone, burner phone into the ocean. To get out of here, bro. Look at the. Yeah. Oh, you can't see the skybox. It disappeared. But Spites put. He called the LEO to get people out here and boats to come search all the boats nearby coming into LA. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got to get out of here, huh? Yep. He's got. He's got. He's got someone coming to check all the boats coming into the city. Oh shit. I dive. All right, <laughs> spawn a boat real quick. Yep. All right. Uh, fuck. Vehicle. Spawner boats. I hear a helicopter too. Don't tell me that. Yep. It's getting closer. Don't worry, I got a gun on me. It's only a pistol, but. I see it, bro. That's not cool, dog. He's, That's not cool. Yeah. It's right above us, too. Yep. They're falling on us. It's alright. Because by the time they get boats out here, we'll be long gone. Oh, unless they fucking, like, whatchamacallit down. Like, parallel down or whatever. Yeah, they might. I mean, he said he's checking all the boats and they got a. Yeah, the helicopter's fucking. On it's us. Li literally, yeah. it is. I mean, technically, I mean, I they look don't different. Who, they don't know who we are, though. I got an ID that says Jimmy Stevens. You look at the picture. I don't even have an ID on me. I got blood, blood, blood I got drugs. Yep, you I got drugs. Yep, I got drugs, too. I mean, hey, we're having a good time on the boat. Why wouldn't we have drugs? Yeah. I guess. 
fuck. Yeah, they, but there's no way of getting gas, and now we can't teleport a boat because... No. We gotta find a way to get to a car, and... We gotta find somewhere where we can go, bro. <laughs> it's either we're going back to jail or we're getting caught, bro. No, we can't get caught this early, bro. Well, yeah. Well, we can't. I guess you're gonna have to start shooting. Eventually, you're gonna have to shoot at that fucking helicopter. I mean, don't do not do it right now. I mean, I want to shoot it. See, 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 here's the thing. When I was going back to when you brought, um, took me out of jail and you were the loss or whatever, and you were trying to uh, help me get out of jail, the very first thing you did was shoot at them, and they escalated it. I don't really want to shoot unless we have to. Right. But if they come near us, like, we're, we're face to face and we're not far away, I'm pulling that gun out and shooting it whether I get shot or not. I don't want to go back. Dude, what's with these fucking waves? I don't know. These bitches are huge. But you know that Air One on the top take this way, and I think we're the priority. I'm not 100% sure, but we might be the priority. No. No way. I don't know. I mean, Bites was waiting for you to get on. Got, is he throwing a fucking spotlight on us? Yep, he's trying to. Because on my screen, it's getting evening time. I'm about to be out of gas, bro. We I'm gonna need to find a cutaway or something. We gotta find a cutaway, or we gotta find where we can get a car. But as soon as we get on land, we're more fucked than being in the boat. There's a fucking spotlight. He's got he's got the the fucking camera where you can see that we're under here. Get, get, go, go, go! Damn it, we gotta get out of here, man. Fuck yeah, we're the priority, bro. Bites wants us. Nope. I don't wanna go back, bro. We're not going back, bro. Is there a car over here? I don't know. Oh. Slash OC cats. I don't know if I should put this. I put OC checks uh, checks the fuel time on the chopper because they should run out of fuel soon. Right. I want to put it, but I don't really know. Good, bro. They need to run out of fucking fuel. Them bitches. You might. He's on us too, dog. Like, I need to find a fucking cutaway. We need a, uh, I mean, the only cutaway there is is the one in the fucking, uh, the county. Man, there's all these hella fucking boats around. They got hella fucking yachts. Oh, yeah, shit. I thought yeah. it was just, I thought it was just those ones. Hey, yo, look at him. Yep, he's, he's in front of us now. Is there two of them? No, there's only one of them. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna follow us if we go all the way up to the county. This is the city patrol, but. She bought toilet paper. Yo, did you? Shot, shot one off. Shot it towards the helicopter. Motherfucker really pissed me off. Now they have every reason to chase us now. They're gonna chase us no matter what. Apparently, from what Bites keeps on saying, we're wanted. And I don't know how, because in the CAD, we're not wanted. But he says we're wanted, so.
I mean, worst case scenario, if we're still in this fucking boat, I'll just fucking drop the gun in the water if I got to. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start dropping all these drugs off in the fucking water. Should or just put it on? Yeah. yeah. Well, don't get up because it, you'll probably fucking go flying. Oh, uh, I'm putting it all in the fucking glove box. There you go. I, I don't think I'll be able to put the gun in there. Keep the gun on you. Yeah, I'm keeping the gun on you. I'm putting all the joints and everything inside the glove box. You got food and water or anything? Uh, yeah, I got some food I can give you. I'm gonna need that. I put it. I put five in the glove box. Take the five out of the glove box of the sandwiches, and I put the uh, drinks in there. Yep. It's got those fucking infrared things where you can see. Oh. oh. What are you doing, Mickey? Swim up, you fucking dumbass. Oh, I hear fucking sirens, bro. Where you at? I'm in the boat. Okay, I'm gonna put five waters in there. Fuck. I know there's cops nearby because you sitting in that cave for a few seconds. Yeah, it was already with sirens. Yep. That helicopter. Got it. Hold on. Yo, yo, you get one, I get the other. Okay, I'll get the one on the right right here. Okay, I'm gonna head back towards. I'll head back, uh, I'll head towards the county or whatever, or... We both gotta split off at the same time, so let me know. Cause he's following me right now. I see, uh, I see cop cars. Yep, we need to go. Two cop, two helicopters, bro. Yep. Two helicopters. Yep. They got smart. They saw that we split up. I saw another helicopter in the distance. Okay, I'm going left. You go right. Yeah, that helicopter's on me, bro. Three helicopters, bro. Damn. Two are chasing you. One's chasing me. They got two after me. Come on, yeah, you're more. No, never mind. The other one's after me. How about to say you're more wanted than I am? Technically. You didn't uh, give me no food. I put it. Yeah, food. I did. I put it in the glove box. You didn't take it. Oh. No. Fuck. Hopefully this thing doesn't run out of fuel quick. And these fucking waves, man. Yep. Yeah. You missed it. We almost had a pop of kidnapping. Oh yeah? Mm hmm I'm sitting outside fucking this truck pulls up and he stops like halfway. Half, like not even not even halfway. Before our driveway even starts coming from this way, like going that way. What? Before it like stops and it's just sitting there. And sitting there. So I walk outside. Go to the car, you know. <laughs> put my hand up, grab it, put my hand up. I'm sitting there looking at him. I'm like, yo, bro, you good? I'm asking, bro, you good? He's just sitting there looking at me, staring at me. So I'm like, I get closer. I'm like, yo. I'm like, are you good? And then the light turns green. So I was like, pull my hand up. He takes off. <laughs> I'm like, are you good? And I'm like, the fuck? What mm -hmm. am I the damn driveway for? I don't know, you motherfucking a big ass box truck. 
big as fuck. Yo, this fucking helicopter is on me, bro. I hear a helicopter in the distance, but I do not see it in the sky no more. I think they're after you. Oh, no, I hear it somewhere. I can't see it. He's got his fucking lights off. I got... I got two of them on me. God damn it. We got to meet up somewhere. Yeah, we're the priority, bro. Oh, yeah. They want... The Bice wants us. Fuck, oh, dude, I should have never went and fucking... I wish I did. I wish they would have came with groceries earlier. We had to figure this out a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah, I didn't know that Bice was gonna put it in there today. He's getting people to check all the boats coming into fucking LA. Okay. I mean, you gave him a different location. Yeah, I did. In the way down the map too. But we did kept. But we did keep on telling them that we were fucking in boats on a yacht. And there's hella yachts, so it would have took a matter of time for us for them to find us, but I, as you said when you were talking to Bites on the phone, I think you said that, oh, wait, ain't that a cop right there or something? And you went, and then you hung up the phone. Yeah, he knows exactly where we was. He probably saw us. Yeah, that helicopter is pretty fucking high. But he's following me. It's just really high where it's hard nope. for me to nope. see. Nope, I see siren. I, I see lights. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going over there. I was getting ready to get, I was going to dip on land. Oh. I'm almost towards Polito Bay. If I can find me a car, I'll get in the car, but I don't know. If Are you got anybody chasing you? There's a helicopter in the sky. It's really hard to see, but he, he floats pretty high. He's high. But he's following me because if I stop, like I stopped by one of the yachts and was trying to hide, and all I heard in my fucking headphones, like very like softly like so he's up there and you could kind of see like a flashing light although it's kind of hard for me to see because i'm in oh, they got a boat on me no fuck fucking lolly he's fucking texting me and calling me i'm i'm wanted I told her earlier I was wanting like yeah don't let, don't don't really try to mess with me. Although she did say that she was gonna snitch on us when I was talking to her once on my phone. I'm closer. I'm closer. Okay. How did they get a boat that quick, bro? I don't know. They obviously want you more than me. Yeah. But I turned left and went towards the county, so maybe they're like, nah, we're not going that way. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming back around. I, I, went, I went your way. Oh, I start, I, I, yeah, I, I, I waited a little bit. I tried to do circles on them and shit. Yeah, I'm basically just going around. Eventually gonna make my way back up by like uh, the fucking pier and shit. If I can make it back to the pier, I'm gonna try to like get on the pier and blend in the pier. Maybe go on the fucking uh, Ferris wheel. Cause you could ride the Ferris wheel in here. I need to fucking find land, find a car, something, bro. I mean, I'm somewhere towards Polito and can get off and get a car, but that one helicopter's following me still, so. I got a helicopter on me. The boat is a little farther back. These waves are kind of calmed down. Nah, they're still fucking rough by me. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh fuck. Bro, no, this can't happen. What? Oh, I, I derailed my fucking boat. It's on, it's on sea. It's on fucking land. Dude, I see cops everywhere. Like, what the fuck? Come on. Everywhere. Oh. I beached her. I don't think I can get her off. Come on, I'm trying. And the cops probably on there saying, yeah, he he beached it. Yep, they got a light on me. Fuck! I'm fucked, bro. Uh, 
Oh, sh I, I beached her. It was so dark I couldn't see. Somebody's got a different boat on me. Yep, I got the light on me. I'm running, bro. Oh, there's bikes here. I got a bike. Get on, bro. Oh, I found me a bike. I'm getting out of here. Oh, I'm at Polito. Come on, I gotta find a car. Stole me a semi truck. Fuck you. Oh, here they come. Here's the cops. I just had a cop with the semi truck. Yeah, I'm shooting at these cops. Oh, they're shooting my car. Oh, I right, took out the tires. Oh. Give yourself up. They have no knowledge that you're Mickey. Nope. Roddy. Roddy. I already shot at them. Rod. Oh, no. Don't cry. Rod. Rod. Get to the water. I'm close. You can't taste me if I'm on the water, bitch. Ah! You fucking hit me. Ow. Oh. Get you. you have to hit me. Uh, uh, yep, and the chopper's landing too. Uh, oh. Fuck you guys! Fuck you guys! One time's in custody. <laughs> oh, that wasn't sweet! What was? What's going on? Woohoo! I kind of rammed into yeah. them there. Oh, fuck you! Let's go! Fuck you! Let's go, my hey, ass! Fuck good you! Good job, everybody, bro! Ah, uh, bite just saying, good, good job, everyone. You got, you got the bastard. Now there's one more to get. Oh my god, with my car! I didn't have nothing else to do. Good job, good job booty. Don't worry, I'm going to lawyer. You can't mute your car. That's abuse of power. We're all going to Disneyland. You're not going to Disneyland. <laughs> Shot at cops, bro, when you were armed, my guy. Yeah, you were trying to arrest me. Throw me up with charges, man. Fucking assholes. That, that's, uh... I don't know what you're talking about. Check my... Check my ID. I'm not, I'm not Mickey. I'm Jimmy Steves. Is that, is that true? Check my ID. We get counting EMS, right? EMS is someone. Did you, are you guys searching him or do you want me to do it? I'm doing medical. Hey, it's been to search him, Bites. He wasn't searched. I got him. In the moment. I'm searching him right now. Alright, too far. He's got a pistol and 50 ammo. Hey, uh, his, uh, the other guy that Code Zero just landed back in if we could go get him. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, uh, uh, for government? Where did they get you? Uh, at? No, not government. It, uh, right, I'm in Polito. He got zeroed uh -huh. in like the middle of the water. Yeah, oh, my leg okay, so are we still going after him? Um, I mean, I would safely making? say that we... Oh, uh, bite to ass. Well, he said, uh, are you really no, Jimmy? Uh, I said, check the ID, bro. Dang, I tried! But they're all, but they're all happy. Nice. Well, who started the pursuit? Who's called? They're all happy. Yeah, they're all happy uh, that they caught me. They said they're going to Disneyland. And then Bite just yeah, said that uh, you jumped back into the server, so now they're going to look for you. Alright, I got you. To make sure. I'll put him in my vehicle then, Bites. I'll wait for you. Yeah, Yo. yeah give me in your vehicle. I don't want to ride Bites. Yeah. Uh, I, was getting ready to try, I was getting ready to try my and come far. back. We're going to have to run back. Hold on. Four. Let me back to my Final stop, zero, three, six. That's fine. They're all the way out in the one county. They got me. 
They, they said one so time's the stone run in the city I somewhere. The government is dealing with them now. Bites asked me, he's like, where's Dicky at, man? Because FYI, you guys are never going to find Dicky, man. No, I mean, in, like, some shit ocean. happened with my fucking computer, and I had to restart my shit. Like, I don't know, it literally just fucking, the kid was fucking around my computer, and it restarted. Oh. That's okay, when you get back in, I mean, by the said that. I mean, you know, uh... I mean, I'm not fucking lying to you or anything. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that, that's what... Oh, are you talking to someone? Oh. Yeah, no, I, I tried to jump back in as soon as I could. Wait, are you physically talking to someone right now? Yeah, hold on. Mute yourself, Mike. Okay. <laughs> You gotta meet yourself too, I guess. Yeah. Sir, what's your name? My name is Mickey Flowers, man. Alright, Mr. Flowers. Let me, let me get you on your way. Uh, you guys ain't catching my buddy, FYI. What do I do with your suspect? Oh. Who gave him a bail license? What do I do with your suspect? Really? Yeah. Alright. What? No, you know. What do you. What? You're going for a ride. I'm going for a ride. Sure. Did, are. Someone, did someone talk to uh, his brother? Hey, you guys ain't finding uh, him. Don't no, worry about yeah, him. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. They were, they were. You don't gotta talk. Really you don't got. You guys ain't finding him, so don't worry about him. He said he's never going back. You're lucky you guys fucking caught me. I beat that fucking boat ahead. Mr. Flowers, why do you have an ID with name Jimmy Stevens on it? Hey, don't worry about oh. that. All right, we'll, we'll cover it at the station. I believe he'll fingerprint you. So, so, I already so. told you I'm Mickey, but just don't worry about why I got that ID. Oh. Hey, the chopper started up. No. Turn the chopper hey, off. Mind if I hitch a ride with you? Chief? Chief? Yeah, I'm back. Can I hitch a ride with you? Yeah. Alright. We'll go get him processed. You get his, you get his uh, ID name off him? Um, he has an ID that says Jimmy Stevens. Uh, his other name was, I think, Mickey Flowers? Nope, or, your guys are wrong. It's Jimmy. What well, he said the first Jimmy time. Flowers. Jimmy Flowers. No, not Flowers. Jimmy Flowers. Jimmy Stevens. Check the ID. Jimmy yeah. Stevens. So what was the first name you gave me? I don't know what you're talking about. I never gave you a first name. Yeah, you did. Nope. You're it's lying Jimmy. to me, man. Don't nope. lie to me again. Nope. It's Jimmy Stevens. Check the ID. I look we'll, like the we'll guy in the picture. We'll fingerprint him when when he's yeah, we'll back in the station. I mean, either way, he's going in. Yeah, fuck yeah. you guys. Just let you know, you're not catching that dicky guy. Because he's not going back. No, we'll catch him. Well, this, is, this is what's weird. This, this is what's weird, man. I called Dickie and Mickey, and they answered the phone and told me they were on a boat coming into the city. So I dispersed three air units to check the entire coast, and we came upon your. You know, you two individuals, and they were coming into the city, and then you guys left, and then was felony evading from police. Well, you guys weren't chasing us when we just got on our boat and left. Like, we didn't know who he was at the time being. 
Right, but we had PC to come over and, and talk to you guys because you're matching the descriptions of two wanted individuals. Yeah, but if you looked at my character from a distance or even just face to face, you looked at me. I look nothing like Mickey, man. Well, I, I don't know what you mean by the character, but what I'm saying is is that I hit. we were hitting every single boat with guns. And upon hitting the boat, we saw three individuals, the captain, and then two individuals on said boat. So we had enough PC that we knew two felons were coming into the city on boats, like you advised. I tracked back the burner phone. I had a unit dispersed up to where the burner phone was. Nobody was there. So we searched the entire coast until we found what what seems to be two individuals on there at that time. Yeah, well, it is what it is. You guys caught us. Good job. Good job. Clap, clap, clap. I mean, are you gonna are you gonna say? He said I L tabbed. Like I just quit the game or whatever. I mean, I'm in there. Bites is kind of like he's kind of pissed to be out of the with me the way he's talking to me, but I mean. No? Oh, yeah. Uh, what? No comment? No comment on what? I didn't hear anything. Wait, what? This helicopter is loud, bro. I can't hear, really hear you. About what your name is? Oh, my name is? Well, I mean... Okay, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. My name is Mickey Flowers, so not really Jimmy. Dude. Why would you do that? Because they already knew. The other cop knew. He said, no, I know your name is Mickey. Because I tried trumping him up and I said my name was Mickey, but then I said, nah, that's not my name. He, he said he said something about Jimmy. Thank you, man. Yeah, clap, clap, clap. It is what it is, guys. I mean, you guys won, but you're not going to find Dickie. Don't worry about it. Dickie. What happened, what happened with Dickie during the uh, shoot? Well, uh, through, well through, through, through my ears that I heard, he got disconnected somehow and he came back and I don't know what happened. Somehow he just got disconnected. It wasn't his fault or anything. Yeah, it just happened. That's... I, they wanted to go the grand baby. on the court, and I said, that is not Dickie. Dickie does not do that. No, he, he actually, for, for real, out of RP, had some technical issues. Yeah, no, out of RP, Mickey, I know that. Yeah, exactly I tried saying I L tab, but my shit my literally, like, I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay with the computer, how we wanted to finish the RP. Oh, no, I he, didn't want to ruin his RP because of some bullshit. Oh, no, he definitely wants to come back in and finish the RP. It's just his computer had some issues. And yeah, he yeah, said, me back. Dude, I'm not. I'm not no, I, at all, bro. You I, just I jumped gave back us in, the and they, they grabbed me, but they are these they the guys? Are go. these the guys? Dude, oh, yes, what? That fled. Yeah, these are the guys. I'm gonna mute myself again. I can't. I can't hear. I can't hear them. Mm -hmm. On the on the helicopter. Yes. yes or was him. it on the boat? Yeah, and then on to the, the boat, boat right? Good RP we oh had? my god! Yeah, that was so long ago. That was awesome. Well, of course, we had we had to stay hiding for a while because you guys are trying to trump us up with fucking charges, man. Okay, all right. Hey, let's go back. Um, Mickey, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you down to a district magistrate judge. Um, he's going to talk to you. I'm gonna explain what the case is looking like against you, and then we're gonna we're gonna do what we can. Wait, there's actually a judge. Do we, does he still have warrants? Does, did we place oh, yeah, warrants? Yeah. They both they both should have warrants. No, I checked the CAD. There is no warrants. Go trying to trip me up with charges. I don't man. think it would uh, it wouldn't pop up for you if there was an active warrant. It should. I mean, other times I had warrants that popped up for me. Dryers? No, it, I click on it, it would say warrant. I wrote a warrant on those. We'll see. Because I was, I was, I had my body cam on. Even when I got off the phone, I went on my phone and checked the CAD, and it never said no warrant, but Bites is back there saying warrants and Trump temp charges, and there's no charges on there. He's just trying to take me to jail for some fucked up shit, man. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out to see if there's warrants. Um, yeah. Nah, there ain't no warrants. He, he's sitting here hey. lying, trying to trump me up with charges. He doesn't like hey, the warrant. Uh, before we take before we take him into the judge, let's get that hat off him, the glasses off him, get his hat down, or so down. Okay, um, out of RP, you gotta take me off the cuff so I can do so. Yeah, that's fine. Take him off the cuff. Okay, have him sit down on the bench for me. Let's go sit down on the bench, Mr. Williams. I'm gonna stand. I ain't sitting. You ain't my mom. Maybe take a seat. Nope. I'm not talking no more. You like to lie. Sit down with you. You guys are forceful in here, man. Are, are we going to bring him in on the warrant, or are we bringing him in on uh, new charges? 
See, new charges. See, you guys are trying me up with charges. See, it's gonna be uh for new charges and a warrant. Yep. See, new charges. What, what are the new charges expect? for? Uh, new charges. He's looking at um, felony evading, um, Grand Theft Auto times two. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, oh, uh, attempted murder on LEO, um, unlawful discharge of a firearm, felon in possession of a firearm. Right, it wasn't all down, lawful. So it was lawful. Hey, Trying to protect please myself. Write, please write this down so you guys are prepared for the judge, okay? Oh, I, I won't forget. Okay, I'll be right back with you guys. What's going on, judge? judge? Give me a favor. I got a uh, chief bites brought in a Mickey Flowers for a warrant and more charges. Uh, Mickey fake Flowers charges. Fake has charges. Eight, is eight Remember times felon. Fake charges, man. Um, not marked for any sort of violent violence. Nah, or I'm not talking no more. Fuck you. You're mean to me. He uh, you is gotta, coming out on a warrant you as well. Be quiet sure the judge charges will let you know. Mickey Flowers. Okay. So you want to? You want me to tell the? I'm gonna tell me the charges again, uh, and I can write them all down. So they're gonna they're gonna come um, here and I'll, I'll plead their case, okay? okay? What you need? Okay, I'm gonna let you know that there is a judge, and I'm about to see him, but I'm gonna meet myself. So there actually is a judge, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yep. I, because when I hop back in, literally they they caught me right away. All right, I'm, so I'm gonna go back in. Just put the phone in and tell you guys. Yeah. It's not on there. I have a previous warrant by uh, Zach Boone. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that guy. January, but fuck that guy. Well, um, apparently since the warrant wasn't active, um, I'll just charge him with a new charge. The other ones were yeah. basically the same charges. Yeah, they yeah, basically. So. Off, off knowledge, people. Okay, yeah, let's get him in. Uh, Rogers, I would like you to keep a good strong grip on him, just in case he starts getting uh, aggressive when we get in there and start talking to the judge. Um, he attempts to spit, hurt the judge, and throw his ass up against the wall and we'll go in there. Okay. Mickey, you're just going to go one or two ways. You're going to either cooperate with us, or you're going to have a very, very difficult stay here, okay? Yeah, fine, I'm gonna, go. I'll just cooperate. Okay. You guys you go already got there. me in here, you got me, so... Listen, I mean. listen, you go in there, you address him by your honor. He's going to tell you some... Uh, going to tell you some things. He's going to advise you of your rights, and he's going to let you know what the further steps are, okay? Alright. Okay. Why don't you turn around so I can grab your arm? Yeah, just keep a hold of him the whole time. Yeah, go ahead, manhandle me. Abuse your powers. I was going to walk in there peacefully. Your Honor, I have Chief Bites, Officer Jay Rogers, and Mickey Flowers. How you doing, Your Honor? Right, gentlemen. Good. How are you this afternoon? Oh, thank you, buddy. Terrible. Mr. Flowers. Yep, it's honor. I can't find any records where you've been in front of this court before, Mr. Flowers, so I want you to listen very closely to what I'm going to say to you, okay? Do you understand the English language, Mr. Flowers? Of course I do. All right, listen closely to what I say. My name is Judge Bites. I'm a district court judge appointed by the governor of the state of California. The reason that you are here in front of me today is because you've been arrested by this officer, and you're here for your preliminary hearing. The uh -huh. purpose of a preliminary hearing is not to determine your guilt or innocence about these charges, nor will you be asked or forced to testify if you don't wish to. I'm assuming that you've been Mirandized, is that correct? Actually, no, I wasn't, to be honest with you. Negative. All right, well then listen to what I have to say to you for purposes of this court hearing only. Yep. You have an absolute right during this hearing to remain silent. If you choose to speak when I offer you the opportunity, anything you say can be used against you in future court hearings. You understand that? Yeah, I understand. I'm not I'm not gonna ask you anything concerning your guilt or innocence. Uh, I am just simply when I'm done listening to these office this officer talk, you, I'm gonna afford you an opportunity to tell me your story if you choose to do that. You do not have to talk. Do you understand that, Mr. Flower? Yeah, I understand. All right, I'm going to make two determinations here today. The first is whether or not this officer had probable cause to make an arrest. The second is to determine whether bail or incarceration is warranted on the charges that you face. Those huh. are the only two things I'm here to decide. Do you understand that? 
Yeah, I understand, man. All right. Officer, state your name, your rank, your department affiliation, and then explain to me the charges that you intend to file against Mr. Flowers and why you're going to file those charges in brief summary. Absolutely, Your Honor. Uh, Chief Bites for the Los Angeles Police Department. Um, in front of me today, I have the suspect that I have arrested. His name is Nick Flowers. Uh, currently dealing with this individual uh, on a regular basis um, from everything such as uh, narcotics, um, violent crimes. Last time, myself and Lieutenant Roger over here um, encountered Mickey. Flowers and his brother Dickie. Um, they were stealing from a weed shop down in Vespucci Beach. Um, responded to the call. Uh, upon arriving to the scene, um, went to talk to the store owner about their stealing. They were both detained at the time. Um, at that time, they fled from us. Uh, they got away. Uh, they got into a helicopter that they stole, um, which was making them one of the felons. And apparently our warrant did not go through the CAD system. Uh, so obviously we will not be pressing any charges as we do not have a uh, reasonable proof of the, the interaction that day. But leading up to that day, I got a phone call um, from Mr. Flowers and he stated to me that he's back in the city. Um, we tracked his phone call. Um, unfortunately, the track did not work, so I deployed three of our air units along the coast. We hit every single boat coming in and out of the city with thermals. Um, on hitting one of the boats, we found two individuals matching the description of Dickie and Mickey. We pursued them um, all the way up to the coast in Pacific Palisades. Um, during the pursuit, they fired at us multiple times. Um, so today they're looking at, what he is looking at, his brother is gonna be getting a warrant. Um, but Mickey is facing uh, attempted uh, attempted murder on LEO. He's facing unlawful discharge of firearm. He's facing two counts of GTA for stealing two boats. And the last charge is going to be for a felony Okay. Okay. All right, Mr. Flowers. Uh, you've heard what the chief has to say. I've listened to uh, what he's presented to me here. Is there anything you would like to say before I make my determination? All right. I want to go back all the way to the day that he was talking about the drug incident where there was a... Technically, he said I was with Dickie and stole the weed. Okay, this is what happened. We went down to Vescucci, and I told Dickie, what are we doing down here? You know the weed shop's here, and I don't like buying weed and all that. Well... We went into the weed shop. He was going to... he Well, technically, he did buy stuff. I, I don't recall him stealing anything. I saw him pay for it. He got a receipt. I don't know why they were saying it was stolen. I mean, that wasn't on my end. That's on his end. But I was going to buy something. But I remembered bites over there. Every time I get something, he always takes it away from me. So I'm trying to better myself. I said, nope, I'm not buying anything. So I didn't buy anything. Well, later on, they were trumping up my buddy or talking to him or doing whatever they were doing to him. I mean, I wasn't really around. They didn't want me. They wanted him. I, he told me to take his van and go park it. I did park his van, and uh, it was only like a block away. And then I went back to go to our buddy's house. Cops came in got me. But then I don't know what happened, but they left and left me there. And they were looking for a dickie. He ran away. And then I met a buddy, which... They said it was stolen. The helicopter was not stolen. I met a buddy that I knew back in from my army days. He let me borrow his news chopper. I borrowed it. Dickie texted me where he was at. I picked him up. They saw us and we left. Now, I, I understand I did leave and I was uh, fleeing from the officers and whatnot. But I was only trying to help Dickie out because he was in a jam apparently. Even though I learned future on, later on by Bites, that he wasn't in a jam. It's just, it was a miss. And I... Uh, things just went out of control and went too far i went to go kill some cops today i didn't mean to try to kill them it's just they weren't leaving me alone i was getting scared and nervous because i didn't do anything and i was just trying to help my brother out i was just scared man okay. um, based on what you just told me uh, i did advise you this can be in the future 
but it does sound to me like the officers had probable cause to, to arrest you and charge you with uh, felony fleeing and eluding grand theft auto times two and attempted murder of an LEO. Based on those charges and your eight-time felony history, I'm going to order that you be uh, remanded to the custody of the state of California and the penal system pending further hearings at the discretion of deputy bites for a time to be determined. Based on the mayhem that you yourself just described to me, I would recommend the deputy bites uh, incarcerate you for the maximum penalty allowed by law. But I understand you and him have a, a past, so I'll let that up to his discretion. Yeah, I'm really uh, sorry, Judge, Your Honor. I appreciate that, uh, Mr. Flowers. And, and during your uh, talk to me there, one of the notes I made was that you said you were trying to better yourself. So yeah, I like, mean, I try to all... better myself because of okay. bites over here. All right, but listen to me. With all due respect, um, generally, people who are attempting to better themselves don't come before the court with felony fleeing and eluding charges, grand theft auto time, two charges, and attempted murder on an LEO. So uh, my suggestion to you is take this time that you're about to receive and, and try a little harder to better yourself. I'm certain that Chief Bites would appreciate that. Um, and uh, maybe maybe it would do you some good in the future. I just don't want to see you in my courtroom again, Mr. Flowers. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. I don't want to be back here either. Uh, right. I would, Your Honor, like to put something on the record, two things. Um, Go ahead. One thing, uh, they did advise me when he gave me a phone call that himself and his brother has been clean off of narcotics um, yep. and yep. anything that's weed. Um, I would like to notate down on the record that if he wishes to seek treatment, it will be covered by the state of California. Um, and my hopes that is that he could use that time to get clean and to change his life around. Um, second thing is that was incorrect stated by Mickey that I also like to put on the record so we have it for our end. Um, we have all 911 reports and we also have a witness statement from the store owner that you guys brought. So that's obviously for the courtroom. I would like to just put that on record so we have it. I appreciate that. Now, uh, Mr. Flowers, I hope what you took from what Chief Bites just said, uh, he's hoping that you get help. So even after all that he's been through today, his goal is to still see you better yourself and get help. I think that should say something uh, to you about the law enforcement officers that you're dealing with out there. Yeah, I, de uh, I definitely I, want to better myself, Your Honor. All right. Well, let's let's hope that that happens, and maybe uh, I won't see you in my courtroom again, Mr. Flowers. Guys, you, you're you welcome to get him out of here. Uh, I'm done. I'm just going to grab a couple of pictures of him real quick. Oh, okay. you mind taking the pictures for me? Mickey, you don't have any new identifying tattoos, scars? Um, no, you can just you can just leave him there if he runs doors locked. So okay. I'm not I'm not running no more. All right, go back to the wall, face me, back up to the wall. All right. Turn to your left. All right. Turn to the right. All right. All right. And you're good. Mr. Flowers, you do understand that upon a search of you, if we do not find anything you bought taking that into a uh, federal facility, then it will be another felony for uh, smuggling narcotics, right? I don't got no drugs in me. I quit that, Bites. Okay, just want to make sure that you are aware. Are you guys aware that he has an ID on him from Jimmy Stevens? Yep. I understand. We're going to get rid of that. Um, you just want me to get rid of it, or you got to put it in evidence? Yeah, if, if you want to just throw it over there in evidence for him. Uh, Lieutenant, put him in a cell for me, please. We'll be in the circle. Yes, Mr. Flowers, I can't believe after this time that Chief Bites is still willing to try to help you. I uh, know, I'm trying to better he myself. Gave you, he, gave, he gave you $100 and you. And you didn't even buy the weed. You stole a hundred dollars worth of weed. You didn't even buy it. 
Cause we'll see the Stole thing. Stole $100 worth. We'll see the thing he is. gave you $100. We'll see the thing is, man, even though the 911 report said that I was stealing weed oh, there too, I didn't do know. any of that. I didn't, I, I told him we shouldn't buy it or be around there. He bought it. He did it. That's why when the cops were there that night, they were talking to him, not me, because he was the one that said that he had the receipt, but then there was no receipt, and then bites came, and then these other... I had nothing to do with that. that I really 100% guarantee and promise you that it was not me, man. But the rest, yes. Yeah, man. Well, you just wronged him too many times. He's been very kind with you. I know, I'm really sorry. Back and stabbed him back. I'm really sorry. I w really do want to better myself. I'm tired of going to jail, and it just, it, I'm, I'm learning my lesson. It, it's not fun being behind these bars, man. Nicky, I really hope you mean that, dude. I really do, man. I, I'm getting tired of coming here, and it just gets to a point hey, where how, I just how need... Old, how old are you, Mickey? Uh, how old am I? I am... Yeah. Uh, I'm 62, I think. Yeah, 62 years old. you want to spend the rest of your life in jail, or do you want to retire and relax and smoke weed by a beach somewhere? I want to retire and smoke weed. That sounds way better, man. Yeah, so let's stop getting arrested, and let's stop putting yourself in danger. Mickey, you don't understand how close you were to getting shot today. Yeah. Do you understand that? I, I'm really sorry. I just got scared. You guys were following me. The helicopters, there were three of them in the sky. My buddy was getting scared. I was getting scared. He called me. He was nervous. I was nervous. And you guys were following me. I just got scared. And I had a gun. I just, I should have never shot it, but I got scared, man. I understand, man. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to send you in for the max amount of time. Um, you're going to deal with all your stuff, and your record will be cleaning all the fresh slate. Sound good to me? Yeah, it sounds good to me, man. I, I want to start fresh, man. I'm tired of doing this. Okay. After today, you have a fresh start with me, okay? All right. And, and by the I'm, way, I got to ask you one question. Can you go into DMV and delete all those vehicles? I don't own no vehicles no more. Yeah, I got to. All right. Yeah. All right. You have a good day, Mr. Uh, Lars. All right. You too. I'm going to better myself for real. God damn it. Hello? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. How's it going, man? Wait, Marcus? Sir. What's up, man? What's happening? What's happening, man? So, uh, I see you got yourself in some little troubles. Yep, I got myself in little troubles, and all this trouble uh, is saving... Mickey, 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 Mickey. Well, all this trouble is because of Dickie, me trying to save his butt. Yeah, but, I understand, but where, where is Dickie? Is this not looking good for you? Well, I mean, I don't know where he is. I mean, as I told them, as I told the cops, I don't know where he is, but I said you'll never catch him. But they're looking and for you're, him. You're here behind bars, and he's not, and I'm here in suit. Wondering what the fuck I'm doing here. Well, I have no idea why they let you in here. Normally, no one's allowed in here, but yeah, I don't no, know. No, I know, yeah, but uh, you know, I showed him a fake badge, so they let me in. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't know, Dicky. What do you expect, man? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm cartel, so yeah, I got, I got stuff. Yeah, but I don't know, like me and Dicky, like we, when the cops were chasing us, he went one way, I went the other way, and then they eventually caught me. I mean, he got away. Well. Uh, I don't I don't know what happened. The cops said that something happened and then they couldn't find him and now they don't know where he's at, which he's got a bowl out for his arrest and I was told that they're gonna find him and the longer from what I was told, the longer that uh, he waits, the more that it's gonna be uh, more charges at it and more painful. I was told by the judge that I was gonna uh, most likely he said that even if Dickie was caught, uh, we're gonna get the death penalty. That's not good. Yep, he, and he said the longer that Dicky runs and hides, he said that it's gonna make the judge think that maybe he should get the death penalty. Mm. I mean, bites. Basically, from what bites told me, he needs to just turn himself in, and things will be less, more, well, crucial than what they are. If the more he runs, the more he runs, he's just making it worse for himself. Who, who, who is this bites guy? Is this uh, he's, police or some shit? He, he's the deputy. Deputy, huh? Oh, yeah, he's real deputy, huh? Yep. Then, uh, are you able to use the phones? No. Nope. Phones, uh, phones in there? Nope. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed no contact anymore with the outside world. How long you in here? 
I, well, from what the judge told me, for life until I could better myself. Okay. He, he said if it wasn't for bites, uh, trying to say that I, I want to believe him and that he wants to better himself and I want to see him better himself. If it wasn't for bites, the judge would have already had me dead and, and that, that would have been the end for Mickey Sticky Flowers. And they're looking for a dicky cheese too. And as Bite said, the more that he waits, the be the more worse it's gonna look in front of that judge. And the judge wanted to give me the death penalty, so I'm pretty sure they want to give Dicky the death penalty too. And the longer he waits, it just may make the judge think that I should give it to him. Mm. But so, he's uh, you 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 have no phone on you or nothing. No, uh, you no contact with this Bites. Nope. Nope. Bites, you know. uh, how, how, how do I get a hold of him? That way I can uh, try and fix this for you guys. I'll get you on the outside world. Hey, there is no fixing. The only fixing he said that is us going to jail and taking the therapy that they provide for us to fix ourselves, and then we'll eventually one day get released. Until then, we're here for life until the therapist said that we better ourselves. Mm. So I'm going to be locked up for a very long time because... Uh, I don't think I could change and if you do want to change me it's gonna take about a year to change me I've been this way oh, yeah, my whole I life understand, I understand you guys been uh, doing some good business for me but I, I, I can't have my my top two guys even though you guys don't look the part that, like I do and I mean hey but you you, you you put these kids out of the park you, you knock all the stuff out I mean granted you guys cost me a lot of money and failures but you guys also made me some good success. And I really appreciate that. You guys saved my ass sometimes. I've saved your ass. You know, yep. I, I, I'd rather get you out on the outside world. And instead of, you know, the, the, the good stuff game, the, the drugs, I'd rather get you into something else. I mean, to be honest with you, from what, from what the judge is saying, that... When I do get out, I need to get a job and better myself. Like I gotta, I gotta keep in contact with the police, and they want, they want to see if I'm better on myself. Because they said one slip up, I'm going back. Yeah. So uh, I'm basically I'm that for something else, man. Maybe I, I, I got some contact with uh, towing. You ever done any towing and stuff like that? Uh, no, nah, I never did towing. That stuff is uh, lame. About uh, you know, work, work working uh, behind a counter or stocking shelves oh yeah i've done that before it just i mean you know me and dicky we just we don't like to work we like to do this type of stuff and now it's to the point where yeah, me I and dicky are gonna have to stop doing it i understand but it's 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 gonna be uh, i mean look at you this this is probably it for you mickey yep I'm surprised they didn't throw you the death penalty i heard about the helicopter i heard about the boats i heard about it all Yep, well, they, well, see, they wanted to, uh, they, I mean, the judge wanted a death penalty, but it was Bites. Bites the one that said no. So the more that Dicky hides and doesn't turn himself in, and the more that he sits there and tries to stay away from these cops and stay on the run or whatever, it's just going to make the, de I mean, the judge, I mean, Bites, he might want to save Dicky, but it's really not up to de uh, Deputy Bites. Deputy Bites can say what he wants. It's up to the judge. And, and Deputy Bites said the, the more that Dickie's away, it's basically, it's going to be, I mean, for me listening, basically, Dickie not turning himself in, being away, it's going to make it worse for him. So he just might as well just turn it in, get it over with. We could better ourselves from here, get out of there, and eventually we could prove ourselves, get a job, and show them that we're doing good, and then eventually they'll just leave us alone. And eventually one day we'll get to go back to doing what we did. But that'll take a while. But it's gonna start with Dicky stepping up and going to turn himself in. I don't, I, I don't I, want him to. I, I understand that, but uh, I'm gonna have to get in contact with this bites and see if I can make him some kind of deals with with you guys or something like that along the lines. But I'm, I'm also because you, you you know that cabin. Yep, uh, that's where we was before he took us to the yard. That's, that's where Dicky's at. Yeah, well, all I know is yeah, you better he better go. Yeah, he, he, he made it there, but I don't think anybody knows that he's there. Well, I mean, you better go talk to him and tell him to go turn himself in. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go straighten this up because uh, I mean, uh, if, I, if, if he doesn't smarten it up, you know what's going to happen. The death penalty. They want to kill me, and the longer they stay it's, it's not It's not the death penalty he should be worried about. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, but still, I mean, they're going to find them. They got the heat signals, and they told me that they're going to be flying around helicopters looking, so they're going to find them. They found us on the boat. They said it only oh, took... Yeah, I'm sure. They said it only took us a few seconds. They said after he got the phone with Dickie, and Dickie threw the burner phone in there, he said it doesn't matter. He, he knew that we're on boats, and he said that he knows Dickie's in town. He said, so it was basically for when he told me, they're, they're looking for you. And when I got took him to the helicopter, flown to the police station, they said that they got one suspect at large, and they still had like one or two helicopters flying around looking for you. So there's a helicopter somewhere in the sky scanning the area looking for you. We're looking for Dickie, your buddy, our our best bud, you know. Yeah, it's, I guess I'm gonna have to get a hold of this bites, and then uh, I'm gonna go talk to Dickie. I would just but, say, uh, just let Dickie turn himself in, and then we can work ourselves out. And when we're done, you can talk to Bites and you can tell him that you're going to try to better me and Dickie. Like, you're a friend of ours and you don't want to see us go down the path. And maybe you can help me and Dickie get a job and whatnot. But it's only going to get worse from what they said if he doesn't turn himself in. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't want him to turn himself in. I'll no, be, I, I'll be I, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want him to do that either. But, you know, it, it's probably going to show some good faith that you know, he turns himself in. I mean, yeah, when I was talking to Bites earlier on the phone before he even found us and contacted us and everything, I basically told him, I was like, uh, he told me on the phone, he was like, if you guys just come turn yourselves in and make it easier for us, he was like, it then it's the less that's going to be on you. So if he just turns himself in, and basically I apologize to the honor, I apologize to the cops, I, I didn't mean to do all this, even though I was just trying to save my ass, you know, but... I mean, I, I apologize. If he goes in and apologize, even if he doesn't mean it, it's going to look at the judge. And yeah, judge. I get it, but you guys you guys ain't got much more life left, you know? I mean, I, I hate to say it, but you guys you guys are up there in age. I know, I'm so, 62, man. I'm, I'm pretty old. I, yeah, yeah, and he's, he, he's up there too, but, you know, I get it. You guys are having fun. You guys are having the best time of your lives. I mean, we um, always had the best time of our lives since I, we met always, each other. Always, always. So, but, you know... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna go talk to Dickie, try and make sure that he, he understands the situation that you're in, because I'm sure he doesn't know. And then I'm gonna try and convince him to turn himself in. Yep. And, and if I see him here, bites. yep. If I see him here when he gets here, I'll be waiting for him. I mean, I'd rather see him behind these bars so that way I know that it doesn't go out for a few more days. And then the judge changes his mind and says, "Nah, I'd rather just give him the death penalty." Because Bites right. was thinking that way, the same way at first. He, he was wanting to give me the death penalty, but I kept on apologizing and saying I'm sorry. So if you just go tell Dicky, like, "Hey, man, just turn yourself in," and, and tell him, tell him what I said, tell him exactly what I said, like. Just turn himself in. It's only going to be better for himself. He'll get to talk to the judge, and the judge, he's going to listen to yep. he, he He wants to hear what the cops got to say, but he also wants to hear what you got to say. So if you just go right. tell him the truth, and, like, if you tell Dickie to say that he did steal the weed, if he did, I mean, as I say, that was kind of on his side of the story. I told the cops and everything, so, so I don't really know. But if you really did steal just be honest, tell the truth. He, we yep. ran away. To tell him that you told me. I'll make sure. I'll make sure he comes clean. Yep. Completely, one hundred percent. And it just, that way, you know that they don't throw the book at him. Just make sure if those cops try to trump up a charge, our our war buddy, which is bullshit. I asked one of our war buddies from back in the day when we got drafted to the war. It was we had to learn how to do something. Well, me and Dickie learned how to fly helicopters. I asked to borrow mm -hmm. his news chopper. He owns a news chopper because he's got his own news business. He owns CNT. And I asked to borrow it for a few hours, and he said, you haven't flown for years. I said, I remember. He gave me it. I picked up my buddy. They tried saying we stole that. We didn't steal it. He let us use it. Uh, I mean, cameras say otherwise because they caught you stealing it from a dock. Yeah, well, I mean, that's where my buddy told me to grab it. The keys were in there. It was unlocked, and he told look, me exactly look, where I, it was I at. mean, I, I can't be the judge of that, but that's all I'm hearing. I know, I know. And that's what I heard, too. Apparently, I stole well, it. I stole that, and then apparently I stole two bolts, and I never Look, stole... you probably stole a lot of things in your life, yep. Mickey. I sure have. And so, and so is Dickie, but yep. I will... I'm going to go talk to him now. Yep, go tell Dickie just that this is the best option. Okay, you be safe. Yep, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Yep, I'll talk to you soon. Tell Dickie I'll be waiting for him.
<laughs> yeah, but if you want to turn yourself in, you can. You don't got to, but as I say, it might get worse. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, why are you here? <laughs> well, what's the uh, reason? Well, the reason why I'm here because well. Uh, like a week ago, me and my buddy, we got turned up the charges. We got away from the cops. We stole a helicopter. They saw us in a helicopter. They tried finding us. But then a week later, they found us on a yacht. We ditched the yacht, got in the boat. We went fleeing and then went our own yeah. ways. But then they actually found me. And they haven't found my buddy yet. They're still looking for him. But, yeah. Then I tried killing some cops because I didn't want to go to jail. Wow. That was, a, that was such a long story. Yeah, it was. It was. A, it was a rough. It was a rough week. I was in hiding for a long time, man. This guy named Dip he Bites. He's a. He's a piece of work, man. Yeah, I saw him. Oh, he's trumping me up the charges. What you in here for, man? Uh, for uh, try some other cop. But I'm gonna get it revenge, anyway. Yep. I got a cop I want to get revenge on. His name is uh, Officer Cam. Oh, it's the same, same cop who arrested me. Yeah, he, he, he got some people jumped up with charges that, you know, and I don't like that. Yeah, that's the shy asshole. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should team up in uh, this one, I think. Yeah, one of these days, yeah, sure. If you're, if you out of RP, if you're on the Discord, I'm Mickey Rose95. Right? Yeah, and Discord, if you're on the Discord uh, page of uh, LARP. Yeah, I'm Mickey Rose 95 so if you want to get a hold of me ever do some RP together one day, just let me know. Hey, mute yourself, mute yourself, mute yourself. All right. Respect me, bro. Respect you. I'm the king of here. Uh, What's going on here? This guy came and started hitting me so that I gotta respect yeah. him. Yeah, respect me, bro. He tried the king. To Chamber. No, knock him out. He ain't the king. How oh, you guys got to chill, bro? <laughs> Who's the king now, huh? Who's the king now? Oh, my bad. Who's the king now? Oh. You got to be by old man, you motherfucker. Who's the king now? Oh. Talking it. Oh. Talking that shit. Fuck you. Ruin my day. Fucking when I was, uh, when I first got in to go see the fucking judge and everything, Bites hit T slash me, rips off fucking hat, rips off hoodie, rips off fake beard. <laughs> so he ripped it all off because because the one officer had asked me when I got arrested, he said, What's your name? And then I said, Okay, it's Mickey Sticky Flowers. And then he was like, 
And then he, 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 he didn't say anything for a minute. Then we got into the helicopter. He was like, what did you say your name was? He was like, because I got an ID right here that says Jimmy Steve Stevens. I'm like, yeah, that's my name. He's like, I thought you told me something differently a few minutes ago. I'm like, no, no, what you just said right there is correct. Jimmy Stevens, that's my name. And he was like, uh, he was like, I thought you said it was uh, Flowers or Sticky or something, Mickey. And then Bites was like, Mickey Sticky Flowers or something like that. And I, and then like he he knew it was me. What's the fuck? I don't know. I have my prison outfit saved, so I, I just, forgot you did. So that way when I could just spawn in because the outfit I had when I was here earlier when you were talking to me it was that stupid jacket and you could see like no fucking chest or anything. Even if it's just a white team. Oh, go back. There you go. Yep, you just passed it. Yep, there you go. Same shirt I'm wearing. Oh, the one with the blood on there that you spawned that one time. What the fuck did they say to you and all? Well, man, what they said to me is I guess I'm here to do 15 months. I got the exact same charges as you. Also, they're going to offer us a rehabilitation program yep. and a career path program once we get out. Oh. Yeah, it's, 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 so I believe he told me that because he didn't tell you because I guess Marcus was, uh, I don't know if he came here, but I guess he got a hold of Bites and he said he wanted to make a deal for us. So uh, they're going to work on a rehabilitation. I already figured that was coming. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was told that by the judge. He wanted me to better myself. And, I yep, was like, I'm and gonna... the judge said we better not fucking show our faces yep, here again. He and that... same with same with Bites. Bites said we better not show our faces unless it's doing good or if we're working a job. Yep, that's basically what I was told. They don't want to see me again. The judge is like, I hope I don't see you back in my court office. Everyone, I'm like, yeah. The next time, he's not going to be so light. Please. Yep. And he was telling me how Bites, he's like, this is a good guy right here. He's looking out for you. He keeps on he keeps on telling you to, like, me and everyone else, like, not to, like, trump up charges and all that type of thing. I understand. Like I, I told them I'm sorry. I'm trying to better myself. It just is hard, man. We've done this stuff our whole life. Back in the day, meeting, uh, meeting up at Coachella for the first time ever, becoming like best friends, being brothers, and doing drugs together, selling drugs together, stealing cars been, together. We've been everywhere together, Mickey. Yeah, we've we done everything. If we, gotta, if we gotta rot together, we're gonna rot together. Yep. I mean, uh, we're all we got. Yep. You know, my sister doesn't give a shit about me. Yeah, she, she, she don't she care about me. About you. She don't give a shit about you. For all that we got. All she cares about is fucking her son, Mickey Jr. But he wants to always see me, but she doesn't fucking let him. And apparently the house is getting evicted. And apparently I guess she's dealing with some charges because uh, I dropped off $600 or so. I got a job at a 24 7 like a few weeks ago. And I asked the guy if I could take $600 out, just take it out of my check. He said he couldn't do that, so why? I'm going to be here tomorrow working. Just when my check comes, I just get zero dollars. And he said I couldn't do that, so I took it, and he called the cops, and I dropped it off and gave it to her. Well, she already paid the rent and everything with that, so it, she, she's, she's dealing with some charges on her right now. I don't know where she's at, but, I mean, hey, she took the money, and she she's the one that knew that it was illegal money. Yeah, man, all I know is... Once we get out of here, we're going to serve her about 15 months. Uh, that's a little over a year, but yeah. we're probably going to be, probably gonna be in here for a while. I guess we should just try and straighten up ourselves. And yeah, that's what I told Bites. I said, I want to get a job. Maybe see what, yeah, maybe see where this job opportunity goes. I know Marcus said he could probably line us up with something. He yeah. mentioned the towing to me, but I was like, ah, I don't know, man. 
It sounds like a lot of work. Well, I was talking to this one prisoner here. He said that uh, he, I mean, he recently got arrested too for some BS charges or whatever. Whatever his story was, I mean, I, there's been so many people talking to me here, but he told me that uh, he was like, if you guys are looking for jobs, he said that there is this girl named Carol. I guess she works at the uh, Yellow Jack in Sandy, and. Uh, I guess from what he told me, it was like he's been working there for a few months because apparently he told me that they hire felons and they don't judge. And as long as you could count money and take money from people and sometimes clean up tables and messes and take bear to people and stop bar fights here and there or call the cops and that happens. He's like, you got the job. And I said, I'm going to have to go talk to her when they get out of jail. I was like, I'm trying to better my life, man. I'm tired of these bars. And it's like, I feel you, man. I might, I, might, I might see what that's about. I mean, hey, the Yellow Jack, I mean... Something, man. Either the Yellow Jack or, you know, 24-7. Fuck, I'll go, you know... Well, I see, the problem is... Go to the tattoo shop if I got to, man. Let's see, well, see, the problem is I worked at the tattoo shop and they barely pay you any like any money. You barely get any hours because they're dead. They said not a lot of people come in and get tattoos anymore. I was working at 24-7, and that fucking A-Rap fucking guy is a dick. He was on his phone most of the time calling the cops on me for hitting my vape in the store. And it wasn't actually weed. It was actually his nicotine, but he's on his phone, and then he get, he called the cops on me for stealing the money. So 24-7 for me is a no-go. I can never work there again. But, I mean, Yellow Jack, I, I told the guys, like, I'll give it a try, man. I mean, I can serve some beers. I know how to count money and whatnot. And just give me this, and there's your beer and whatnot. Throw it in the register. By the way, man, you you, you, you met that judge, it, right? I met that judge. He, I mean, he seemed yeah, pretty I mean, nice. You you know who he is, right? Yeah, he's he's related to fucking Bites. It's Bites' his father. Oh, that's his father? It's his fucking father. I remember him having a brother that was, you know, just a low-rank LAPD. Well, maybe he's Bites. got a brother and a father that are... He does, parent. but it's, his father is the attorney judge, and I didn't even know that, man. I didn't know that either. He kept on saying... So he's got 20 years of service, and I guess he finally just moved over here. Oh, yeah. I kept on asking him when they took me to the helicopter. They kept on saying something about a judge. I'm like, there's a judge, and they brought me in, and they said, before you go into this hearing, I'm like, what are you talking about? I never knew we had judges out here. Like when I, we- thought it, I thought it was about to get ruthless in there, to be honest with you, man, because, uh, you know, he's he's telling me my charges and saying it's not good for me, and I started to, like, sigh, and, like, it was like, <sighs> like, I wanted to cry a little bit, and then he's like, am I boring you? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Yes, sir and he was like that's your honor and then bites is like you uh you, you you need to address him as your honor otherwise we're gonna have to go in cuffs and then he was bitching at me he's like why are you not in cuffs i was in cuffs the whole time that's bullshit yeah because I, I i think it's because i turned myself in bites told me the reason well i was in cuffs because what what had happened but bites had told me before i walked in to the fucking uh room with them he had told another officer he said i want you to hold him the whole time don't let him go he likes to spit on people so it may get ruthless and wild in there and one of us may be getting tased he was like on accident but we'd be trying to aim for mickey and i was just like uh okay well yeah apparently i spit on people and i was whole i was held the whole time by a cop i couldn't be let go or anything like they was holding me the whole time it was bullshit the only time to let me go is when they had to take my picture. Yeah. They had to take mine, too. It's all, it's, all, it's all a little fucked up. I mean, what? I mean, hey, it's over with. We turned ourselves... Well, I got caught. You turned yourself in, so you look a little better. I mean, I, I apologize for all the things I did. Even shooting at those cops, I apologize. I even told Bites and... Uh, the, the, the guy that uh, was behind the judge fucking place I told him I was like yeah man like uh, I'm, just, I'm just really sorry I got scared there was like three helicopters two were chasing Dickie well they all three were chasing us at first but then two went chasing Dickie and then one went chasing my way but then he backed off but then he came back up and I was like you guys never would have caught me if I never would have beached my uh, little uh, boat and then uh, they were talking about like the one I stole and what not and this and that you know and I was like and like but i mean it is what it is they caught me i apologize i, I went in front of the judge i'm in jail i'm gonna serve my sentence and go to that program and try to just better myself i mean as i told bites and everyone i'm tired of going behind these bars man 
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there you have it. I'm here at the carnival right now. I'm just walking around. Um, my buddy, uh, he, won't, he, aka out of RP Ted Zero. And if you know what Ten Zero means, he's done for the night. And I'm about done for the night too. I'm just doing my little goodbye video and whatnot. Jump over here. Look down at this beautiful beach and city behind us. But yeah. So basically. This is Mickey and Dickie's uh, video where we got arrested. There is now a judge in our uh, in our server, and apparently, uh, from the talks, from what I'm hearing, he was a real judge before. And I guess that's uh, the guy that doesn't well likes us, but doesn't like us. Maybe I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell. But Deputy Bites, uh, apparently, from what I was told by Dickie, that's his father. I don't know how true that is. I'm just going by, and apparently, he's got a brother in here too. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it's fake. I'm not going to say he's lying. I don't know. I, he, he didn't physically tell me that. I mean, the brother, yeah. The brother, he did tell me that. He said that was his brother or whatever. And he, they did kind of sound like. But, I mean, he never told me that the judge was his father. I know the the, uh, the deputy was uh, Judge Bites or something like that. And I kind of laughed about that because I'm like, huh? But, yeah. So, basically, there was a video that I should have recorded before that you guys didn't get to see. And the guy in the sky, which is the guy that's me talking right now. Not Mickey Sticky out of RV, but the guy, Mickey Rose 95 the YouTube creator right here. And I should have been recording. I should have been. I wasn't. I don't know why I wasn't. My buddy was supposed to get trumped up with a charge when he wasn't here for a week in the server. I thought maybe he was just going to get trumped up with a stupid charge, go to jail. We called Deputy Bites. He was supposed to talk one-on-one. -on -one. And then later on, he sends more officers. And then... He goes, well, he, he basically gets, like, let off or whatever or whatever. He gets talking to or whatever, and it, something gets working out. And then later on, I guess, something with him still a weed at the Vespucci, a weed shop. And I can't say he did or he didn't. I mean, I was with him. I don't know if he recalled stole anything. He had a receipt. He definitely had a receipt. I remember that. I remember him telling the cops, check my back pocket. I got a receipt. I bought the shit. And I don't know if he did buy it, if he didn't buy it, or whatnot. That's his side of the RP. I can't sit there and say he did or didn't, because that's his style of RP. If he wants to sit there and claim that he did steal it, okay, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna go with him and keep on saying, "Yep, I tell you guys, yep, I think he stole it." That's the reason why. I don't know exactly what happened. All I remember is something about stolen weed. They tried trumping up the charges. I had no weed on me. They were talking to Dicky. And then Dickie asked me to move it, or I drove his van away or whatever, and I guess they wanted his van, I guess he tried, like, trumping me up with a charge, out of, out of the fun out of RP, because, I mean, saying that there are drugs back there, even though if they would have pulled the van over, there's no drugs back there whatsoever, so, I mean, obviously they could have said I couldn't take the vehicle, because it was a part of a crime scene, a part of Dickie, and there could have been drugs in there, and I could have drove the van and got rid of them, and I, it was a whole deal or whatever, but... He basically got in trouble for some weed. Cops came. Uh, they talked to me and him. Let me go. I was riding up and down on the boardwalk on a bike, waiting for the RP scene to kind of end. They didn't see me. Um, I rode by a few times actually too, which surprisingly I don't know how my uh, buddy Dicky didn't see me. I drove right past their cop car and everything a few times on a bike. Um, uh, I was driving up and down the boardwalk back and forth, and eventually I went in the alleyways. I was sitting there and I was talking to my buddy as he's talking to the cops. I went. Hey, the cops are in there, man. Like, you can think, of, and he kept telling me like they're they're kind of looking that way. But I don't know. Maybe you could sit there and talk to me and whatnot. And like, and for a minute, I'll let you know if it's the coast is clear. Well, there was, there was a point where I just said, you know what? I gotta risk it for the biscuits. I ran. They tried arresting me, saying that I did something with the van. They kept on asking me where the van was at. But then when they came to arrest me, the funny thing is, there was two cops out there talking to my buddy Dicky, my brother. And then I run up and back into the house after taking his van and being gone for a few. Run back into the house. After I run back into the house, they both leave, leaving Dicky alone, knowing that they want to probably arrest him, leaving him alone. Well, what is what is any criminal in real life going to do? If you are a criminal, you stole. Two cops are there about to talk to you, want to arrest you, but they leave. They get up and leave and chase someone else. But don't get you cuffed. Don't got you put in the back of the cop car. What are you going to do? Sit there and like, yeah, I'm going to sit here and wait for them to come back. They could take me to jail. No, he ran. He ran. Basically, they were asking where he was at. I said, I don't know. You guys didn't have him handcuffed? You didn't. You guys fucked up, like, type deal, you know? Then eventually, some, some, some stuff happened. They just let me go. They went to go chase him. 
They told me that if they see me in the van or whatever, but obviously I kept on trying to tell them the van's only a block away. It was literally right down the street from the house we're at in Vespucci. It's one of those story houses that Trevor runs. And basically it was, you go down the street, get to that stop sign, you make a right, you basically go down to the next block. And right at the next block, there's like a little building that's got like a little parking lot or maybe like six cars at the max could fit in there. I had a park right there. So you could see it from the main road. I'm not sure how they didn't find it, so when they let me go and they were trying to find Dicky, I left, got that car, RP'd that I paid someone some money, covered it up, told them I'm going out of town, and then I swam across this little lake that takes you uh, on the other side, which if you could tell, uh, over, over moi, towards like going towards the uh, like uh, the airport and whatnot, that way, there is another uh, than basically a... Uh, like a helicopter pad. Well, what a coincidence. There was some type of AI. And I know that the server, they try to stop all that crap from happening. And I know when you buy your own server and whatnot, you could choose what you want to be in the server and whatnot. Some servers choose to have no AI traffic. Some choose to have the trains. Some choose where you could drive the train. Some choose where you could do this or do that or whatnot you know it, it's just there's different things you could do in every server they all offer and give you so many different types of things that you could do and whatnot and while i jumped over the water swam over there was a helicopter out of rp i rp'd that i kind of knew how to flew a helicopter back in the day because i was drafted to the army and we were told that we got to learn how to do something and support as we go to war i said that i learned and i even said that and the court I said I I had a I, I learned how to fly a plane and I took it and well then I met up with Dickie and we took Dickie which he was at uh, the Mile High Club which is not the Mile High Club on our server but a lot of servers do have that but basically it's the construction building I landed there there must have been Air One somewhere in the distance and saw me getting here but like, oh there's another helicopter getting here and they got the tracking systems and their police systems and whatnot or all they have to do is just go over your character let the uh, plate scan or whatever or, or whatever their systems they use to scan and see if it's AI or not and it comes back that it's unregistered and it's a sieve like they, 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 they just know they got the they got the funds to have the technology and equipment to do so which sucks well me and Dickie we took a picture um, by it whatnot we sent it to the officer uh, by it's well we're just gonna send it out of RP but before we could even though we did send it in the discord out of RP we we're gonna send it but then all of a sudden I said yo yo, yo we gotta go and he's like huh and then literally you see like four squad cars pull up they all get out got guns aimed and pointed at us and then my brother Dickie I said get in get in get in he got in I, he wanted to drive I drove it there he wanted to drive it away I said come on get in he started up the blades and literally we got like maybe 20 30 feet in the air what do we see with our pretty fucking white eyes another white and blue chopper that says p-o-l-i-c-e on it the police yeah that's how they fucking found us but yeah but then we got away and then on our rp we were gone for a whole week legitimately a legitimately a whole week we rp'd that we were on actually I believe it's the, that yacht right there in the distance. Yeah, we are on that yacht right there in the distance. And then I called Bites earlier doing a little uh, talking to him and whatnot. And it'll be in the beginning of the video, which you'll see. And basically, I was talking to him. Then my buddy got in. He was talking to him. Apparently, he got helicopters. They did some thermals. They found a captain and two guys on this boat. And then basically, they were going to come talk to us. Now, maybe if me and Dickie would have never uh, ran away maybe just maybe we probably i'm not saying we would have but probably could have maybe possibly got away i'm not saying we would have but it, it's a possibility i'm not saying that that what would have happened but it's just a little possibility because i mean they i mean apparently from what he said he just wanted to talk to us why not but we did what we did we tried getting away after that from what happened in the video that i didn't record and whatnot and it sucks it really does suck but I mean hey I mean we tried uh, we split up our own ways after a while because we found a jet ski and he stayed in the boat whatever or he swept and got the jet ski I don't know but I went one way he went the other way two helicopters were following him while one helicopter went ugh, while one helicopter was following me 
Although after a while, he went really high in the sky, and it's hard for me to see him now. If you see um, in the video at the time, if you go back and rewind it, or if you were watching it and you paid attention to the sky, you saw that there was northern lights. That's because my MBE, and it's basically not a mod where I could like hack the server and what, and be invincible and all that type of BS. It's MBE, it's a graphics mod made by a guy named Jamal, and he's spent many, many, many years working on this. Like years, and it just looks amazing. All of these LED signs and water textures, rain textures, snow textures, fog textures, you name it, roads, uh, billboards, everything. It just, he made the game look 10 times better than what the game was when it was released. And he took time. He learned how to code and do stuff like this, which is amazing. So basically, you saw that there was NVE uh, Northern Lights in the sky and whatnot. And he was high up there. I could kind of see him. I could see the flashing light. I know it wasn't the Northern Lights. He was up there. But eventually, it kind of gets dark. I mean, not really, really dark because I took off the mod where it gets even darker at night. But I may add that back for more legitimacy and like more le legitimate things you know like type deal because like that that jet ski had no lights it's dark out there should have been no way i was able to see it as good as i could it should have been way harder for me to see and eventually i think i might put that mod back in um i'm gonna wait before i do though i wanna go and give the patreon jamal another ten dollar subscription to get uh, the newest version of mbe uh, I know that uh, I got a message in my email saying that there's an update and he saw that recently canceled He said that if I update again, he says he said it's not crucial It's not really necessary, but it makes it makes sure that all of his mods when 5m updates Continue to stay working so you have all these amazing beautiful mods But other than that, I mean I tried getting away with Dickie. I tried helping him out. It didn't work out I tried none other than basically sitting there and getting away after we've split up and went our own ways, um, it didn't work. Bites is so good. It sucks. We got caught, but we, we apologized. We said what we had to say. We weren't in front of the judge. We told the judge our stories. I don't know what his side of the story was. I didn't get to hear it. Uh, I don't got his audio. And he wasn't recording. Eventually, one day, he's going to start recording. He's going to learn. He, but that's something he needs to learn. And he needs to get a better computer for And one day, he will. But it's going to take time. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to quit talking your guys' ears off. I'm going to let you know what happened in the first video, which I did. This is the second part of what happened in the first part, which should have been recorded. It wasn't. It sucks. It is what it is. But, yeah, a pretty long, short video, ladies and gentlemen. And, yeah, so. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, well, goodbye. I'll see you guys next time. A pretty long video, but... It's worth it, Mickey and Dickie. We've been gone for a while, and now we're back. We got arrested, but we're back out. We're going to try to better ourselves next time. We're still going to be wearing the orange clothes and whatnot at our RP. But we're going to have to find a job. We're going to have to get clothes. We're gonna, we don't got no cars anymore. So we're just going to have to figure it all out, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed we are. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Mickey and Dickie and LARP. See you guys next time, everyone.